What is the District Services Improvement Program Fund, or DSIP? And what are the laws and guidelines that govern how the DSIP is spent? The DSIP fund was set up to provide minimum service delivery standards through the re-establishment of basic infrastructure and facilities in the districts. The DSIP is allocated to the District Development Authority to be managed under the guidance of the Public Finance Management Act of 1995. The DSIP fund is worth 10 million kina. Now, according to a National Executive Council decision number 102 of 2012, the DSIP fund is to be allocated to key sectoral basis, and the breakup to be as follows. 1. 3 million kina for infrastructure. 2. 2 million kina for health services improvement. 3. 2 million kina for education services support. 4. 1 million kina for law and justice services. 5. 1 million kina for economic support services, and 6. 1 million kina for administration. The DSIP monies are governed by the laws set out in the Public Finance Management Act of 1995. According to the Public Finance Management Act, District Development Authorities or DDAs can only approve DSIP funded projects worth below 500,000 kina. There must also be three quotations from three different service providers as part of the procurement process in order for DDAs to approve. Any projects or service works that cost more than 500,000 kina cannot be awarded by the DDA. It can only be awarded through the National Procurement Commission, as per the Public Finance Management Act. Parliament members that fail to comply with the Public Finance Management Act can be dealt with in accordance with provisions in the Leadership Code and the Criminal Code or Law of PNG. District administrators and district officers who fail to comply with the Public Finance Management Act will have their Section 32 powers suspended and can be dealt with in accordance with provisions in the Criminal Code or Law of PNG. This community awareness on DSIP funds is a courtesy of Northern Sunrise Chronicle. Please share this video and educate our people, we must hold our members of parliament and public servants accountable for a better Ejivatari district and PNG.